if you were starting again as a, as an MD <laughs> or as a business owner, you know what what would you say the main things that you've learned or the most important things that you've learned if you were if you were starting today as an MD knowing what you know now? Oh, um, that what, is what, a very good question. Um, there's loads. <laughs> there's probably loads. I think there are two that spring to mind straight away. One is trust your instinct. You know, especially if you're starting out as an MD with 20 odd years experiences I had working in, in working environments. Trust your instinct. If something doesn't feel right, there's probably a reason for that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't don't ignore it. The, the times I've made my worst decisions is when I've let my head overrule my 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 gut, I think. So really trust your instinct and you know and look to people, you know, look to your wider network for, for the support or to, you know, to have that peer. Find a coach like yourself, you know, find somebody that has perhaps experience that you don't have, that you can bounce the ideas off, or you can just say, this doesn't feel right and I don't know why, and they'll help you explore that. And mm -hmm. um, so trusting yourself and your instinct is one thing. And the other, and this is going to sound so daft to you because I should have known this Right from, I did know this, but knowing and doing are two different things, aren't they? Um, begin with the end in mind. Mm. You know, think of yourself as a bigger organisation. I remember, I remember having uh, having lunch with my old um, MD at Adidas. Not long after I, you know, I, I, it was quite a while after I'd left, but it wasn't long after I got involved with in accountancy. And I was like, oh, Jill, you know. Managing eight people is so much more difficult than managing 40. Why is that? And he just laughed at me. And I think it was because if in a small business, when it's your business, the way you portray it and what people think is that, you know, every decision comes down to you. Whereas in an Adidas in a big corporate, you know, you just tell people that, no, you can't do this or yes, you can do that. And it's because that's the business decision. But it, whereas I think I certainly felt everything was very personal whenever it's a small business. And mm -hmm. therefore, if I was saying no to something, it was me personally saying no and not the business. Does that make any sense? 